So I found this um, DeWalt utility knife at the local big box hardware store. And um, I thought it was kind of cool because it was a folding knife. But then I realized that the blade like shoots out the front like that, which is cool. That's more like a traditional utility knife. And it's also quick change. So you can change the blades with just this button, you know, like flip it around, get your sharp side, that type of thing going on. But um, one of the cool things about this too is that it's actually auto loading. So when you dispose of a blade, you go back and then forward again, you got a new blade. And those store right here in this little like, uh, I guess magazine, uh, for lack of a better word. So you have this little blade magazine right there, holds three blades in the thing and then you can uh, eject them. It's, it seems pretty well made. Um, it's good. It's nice and heavy, but it's big. It's like really big. I don't know. Um, I thought it was like kind of an oversized tool because I like these really small utility knives like the Gerber EAB. Like this is a really great little utility knife. It's really pocket sized and it's good for what I like to use them for, which is just general everyday knife carrying type things. So um, this is kind of a little bit too big to carry around every day. This is more of like a construction worker in gloves type deal. But you know, if you take a closer look at it, you kind of see that this yellow handle portion doesn't really have anything to do with the knife portion of it. So I thought, hey, what if we could make it more compact? So that's what I'm going to try and do. I haven't done this yet, so I don't really know if it's going to work, but let's just figure it out. Um, it's got these two T10 screws on here, and let's just take them out and see what this thing looks like. Ah, ooh, don't stab yourself. That's kind of the right size. Come on. Mm. That side's stripped out. Got it. Best pliers ever. Save the day. All right, I get out of there, you son of a bitch. All right. So this isn't quite what I was hoping for. Um, I was hoping these are just two threaded screws, but this is a, um, it's called a Chicago screw or a sex bolt. Um, Technically, you could stop right there, and you'd have like a much smaller utility knife. Um, so yeah, that'd be cool if we can use this bell clip. Uh, that actually just might work. We can use it like that, maybe without cutting it. Um, I kind of chowdered up this screw. Um, it's a little bit longer than we need. At this point um, let me see if I have a replacement okay so I do happen to have replacement um, Chicago screws because I use them for my leather working projects um, when I do those which I haven't done one in a while like if I was to cut this this bit off and just use the bell clip like without it by cutting that off it would want to spin around but since it kind of lines up with that hole we might be able to use this screw if it's long enough to tie that bell clip in. Is it tightening? No. I don't think it's long enough to pull that off. Hmm. What can we do? My Harbor Freight Anvil. So, it's not like the prettiest peen in the world, 
but I managed to, um, since once I did this, the screw wasn't long enough to reach the threads inside to get to where uh, that screw was supposed to go, I was able to secure it through the same screw hole using just a, like, you know, little bit of uh, brass, scrap brass rod, um, like that. So you basically put it off, you cut it a little longer, and then you just hammer the heck out of the top of it until it, like, mushrooms over. That's going to hold it down like a nail or like a fast. So knife works. Belt clip works. Not going anywhere. That belt clip is now fully functional on a much smaller pack. Um, we took a knife that was, you know, this long, and we discarded the not very useful handle. I mean, the handle is useful for like leverage and hold on to, but we made something much smaller. Um, and so now we have a really small knife, and it is quick change blades. It's got a nice little bit of weight to it. It's a little bit slippery, so you know, don't go crazy like with this cutting out carpet or demoing a house or something like that. Um, you know, let's stick to like tasks that a knife this size is suited for. All right, so there you go. You have a nice little hack for this uh, DeWalt utility blade. So go ahead, feel free to do this yourself. Find this blade and purchase it. And uh, if you have the tools on hand and a little bit of perseverance, you can open it up and make this little pocket-sized bell clip. All right, there you go.